my Evernote tagging strategy. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Last week, I showed you a use case scenario for using both Evernote and Notion. We looked at how an aspiring school band director could use digital notes to organize the wealth of information needed for the job. We went on to show how this person would filter information to find exactly what's needed at the right time. Today, we go into more depth. The decision over whether to organize with notebooks versus tags has been a long-standing debate in the Evernote community. I use both. If you looked at my Evernote sidebar, you would see the notebook list. At the top is the inbox. A dot as the first character sorts the inbox to the top of the list. It's a place to trap notes until I make a decision about what to do with them, what to do about them, and where to put them. After that, I have a stack, a group of notebooks called Current Projects. The slash as the first character sorts it to the top of the list just below the inbox. The tasks related to those projects are in my digital task manager. Remember the milk. Those tasks point to supporting reference material in these Evernote notebooks. Having a current project stack keeps those things that are a work in progress separate from the things that are simply reference material. Scrolling down reveals a list of reference notebooks. The very last is a stack for completed projects, which now become reference information. One thing to remember if you collaborate with other people is that you can share a notebook. When you do, every note in that notebook can be accessed and, if you desire, edited by those that you choose to share that notebook with. You can't share a tag. For me, the primary use of tags is to serve as dividers within a notebook. To get started, for each notebook, Create a tag by the same name. For example, I have a time management notebook. I also have a tag called time management. But that tag simply serves as a placeholder. When I click the drop down beside that tag, then you see the magic. Other tags are nested under it, all related to the broad subject of time management. You can nest tags under tags under tags to your heart's content to create your own system of subcategories. When you create a tag, just drag it on top of the tag under which it should be nested. I have a special strategy for how to construct my tags. Every time management tag starts with the letters TM followed by a dash. When I start to tag a note by typing a name, as soon as I hit that TM, I see a list of all the other tags that start that way. In other words, I see all the tags that I have used before in that notebook and can choose the right one. For example, if I clip a good article on iPhone usage, do I tag it TM-Apple? TM-iOS, TM-iPhone, or something else. Well, seeing what tags that I've already used in the past helps me keep that list clean and make good decisions. Here's some examples. Subtags under entertainment begin with ENT. Subjects under journal begin with J-O-U-R. Subtags for school administration begin with S-C-H-A-D-M-I-N. Again, the main tags are simply placeholders to give me a place to put those subtags underneath them. One very important tip when naming tags or notebooks, never include a space in the name. Use a dash or an underscore between words. That way, when you perform a search using that name, Evernote will see it as one unit, and you won't have to remember to enclose it in quotation marks. So to get organized with Evernote, number one, create an inbox. Number two, create a stack for your current projects to separate 
actionable from non-actionable material. Third, create tags that parallel your notebooks. Four, begin each subtask with a prefix. With a well-planned system of notebooks and tags, you can not only find what you're looking for, but you find what you need but had forgotten you had. If you like this content, there's plenty more on frankbuck.org. And if you're looking for a speaker for your next live or virtual event, if you're looking for group coaching for your organization, or if you want one-on-one coaching, reach out to me. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.